In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a site and add a satellite to that site in IQ Cloud so that you can control it from any internet connected device. First, we click Add Site and name this site. Enter a description that describes the location of the site and click OK. Now that we've added our site, we'll select that site and click Add to add a controller to the site. Choose either LXD, LXME, or LXMEF. I know that my controller is an LXMEF, so I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to select Direct. You always want to select Direct unless you're having other controllers connected to a controller to receive its communication. We call that a server client configuration. 99% of all satellites are set up as direct. Click OK. Now we're going to click Edit Configuration and Stations. We're going to name our satellite so that it shows up on our reports. Next, enter the IP connection. And click OK. Now we want to retrieve all of the information, including programming, flow rates, and configurations that are already in the controller. So, click Auto Configure, check all the boxes, and click OK. You'll notice that this status light on the bottom, indicating open connections, will change from red to green once the satellite has connected. Now IQ is retrieving the information from the satellite. This takes approximately 30 seconds. And as you can see, IQ updates the progress during the communication session. Now that it's retrieved all of the information, you can see that IQ has updated the graphical display, showing which modules are present. And down here, it has disconnected from the satellite. We can see all of the settings that have been pulled in from the controller. I can see my station flow rates. This would be a good opportunity to name your stations. These names will appear on any of your station runtime reports. I can also see that IQ has pulled in all of my existing programming from the controller, showing my run times, my cycle and soak times, in addition to my water days. I can click on Program A and name this program which will also show up on my reports. You can also see that my start time has been pulled in. This is a good point to stop for just pulling in the basic settings. Now this controller can be accessed, managed, and changed from any internet-connected device.